How's it going troops? Jordan here, back again with another Black Ops Cold War loadout video. In today's loadout, it's 1981 and tensions are still high between East and West Berlin, as we become an East German border guard in Cold War. So today's loadout is titled East German Glenstruppen. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and let's jump right in. With this Glenstruppen loadout, we're going to be roleplaying as an East German border guard patrolling the Berlin Wall. Because we're going to be replicating a typical East German guard, our playstyle is going to be roleplay, and since we're not going to be taking our in-game performance into consideration, I've labelled today's loadout difficulty as moderate. Kicking off this Border Patrol loadout, we're going to choose the AK-47 as our primary weapon. After the end of World War II, Germany was broken up into two different countries, the West and the East. West Germany was occupied by Britain, France and the United States, while East Germany was occupied by the Soviet Union. As such, the East German military copied many aspects of the Soviet Union's military, including their own version of the Kalashnikov, the MPI KMS-72. So because of this, we'll go with the AK-47 as our primary weapon. But of course we can't go in bare bones, so let's talk attachments. Our first attachment is going to be the 18.2 inch takedown barrel. The reason we're choosing this barrel is because of the name. Anyone who tried crossing the Berlin Wall border illegally or attempted to escape from communist influence in East Berlin was shot down immediately with no authority needed, which is why so many former border men were put on trial and sentenced. This takedown barrel increases our damage range and will allow us to accurately take down foes. Our next attachment is the Tiger Team Spotlight. Spotlights were used at night to again seek out any trespassers trying to enter or leave East Berlin across the border wall and this torchlight will reveal enemies lurking in plain sight. For our third attachment, we're going to go with the Gru Elastic Wrap. This handle wrap not only has that German look, but comes with a bunch of useful benefits for a guard patrol in the Berlin Wall, such as faster aim speed and increased resistance against flinch, should we receive any fire from across the way. And lastly, our fourth attachment is going to be the wire stock. The MPI KMS-72 had the significant feature of a wireframed stock, and so it makes sense to equip this in-game. So now that we've discussed our primary weapon configuration, it's time to move on to our secondary weapon of choice for this loadout. For our secondary weapon, we're going to choose a 1911. East Berlin border guards used a Makarov pistol as their chosen sidearm, but sadly, we don't have this pistol in Cold War multiplayer at this present time. So instead, we'll just go with a 1911 since there's not many other options to choose from. And just like without AK, we can't go in bare bones, so let's talk attachments. There's not many accessories that were attached onto the Makarov pistol during the Glenstruppen's existence, so we'll only equip one attachment for our 1911, and that's going to be the 5.63 inch takedown barrel. For the same reasons with the AK-47, if anyone tries to illegally cross the border or escape East Berlin without legal documentation and border checks, we'll take them down in an instant, no permission needed. So that's why the takedown barrel will be our only secondary attachment. So now that we've discussed our primary and secondary weapon configurations, it's time to move on to our wildcard and perk setup. For our perk selection, we're going to choose the Lawbreaker wildcard to allow us to equip 3 perks from tier 1. Starting off with our first tier 1 perk, we're going to choose Paranoia. The Border Patrol guards would always be on the lookout for any sign of trouble, and keeping a watchful eye on people going in and out of East Berlin. The Paranoia perk has that big red eye on the icon, and so we'll choose this perk for that reason. For our second tier 1 perk, we're going to choose Flat Jacket. Border Patrol guards wore stone grey uniforms as it was standard military dress code for the Glenstruppen, so we can go with Flat Jacket to represent that. And for our third and final tier 1 perk, we're going to choose Forward Intel. Keeping with the theme of this loadout, the border troops would be surveillance for the entirety of the Berlin Wall. Forward Intel extends our minimap coverage so we can survey the wall at a further distance and seek out any suspicions along the border. Moving on now to our equipment and field upgrade, for our lethal equipment, we're going to go with C4. The C4 explosive in Cold War looks more like a duffel bag than an explosive device. There would have been many times that someone trying to cross the border would have been apprehended and their possessions seized, possessions such as a work bag, so we'll go with the C4 to mimic this. As for our tactical equipment, we're going to go with the decoy grenade. The decoy grenade looks like a portable radio and speaker that we can use to update the other guards positioned in watchtowers, so that's why we're going to go with that. And lastly, for our field upgrade, we're choosing the proximity mine. The gap between the east and west side of the Berlin Wall was reported to have more than 55,000 landmines buried in the ground, to prevent anyone from either side entering into neighbouring territory illegally. So to represent this, we'll go with the proximity mine field upgrade. 
Now that we've talked about our equipment and field upgrade, it's time to finish off this loadout with our score streak selection. We're only going to pick two score streaks for this setup, with our first score streak being armor. Being a border guard for the East German military, having bulletproof armor is going to help save our life should we get attacked by our enemies of West Germany. Plus, in the height of the Cold War, we must be prepared against spies trying to infiltrate and kill us, so armor will boost our health against that. And finally, for our second score streak, we're going to go with a sentry turret. The Berlin Wall featured hundreds of watchtowers around the perimeter, with sentry stations located at border checkpoints. We can place down a sentry turret at choke points and lock down the perimeter of an objective to prevent the enemy from getting close to it. So troops, that wraps up my Grenztruppen East German Border Patrol loadout video for Black Ops Cold War. Next time you boot up Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, definitely give this class out of a trying game and don't let your enemies pass until they show their papers. If you did enjoy this loadout video, then give the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then why haven't you? Hit subscribe right now and also click the bell notification icon next to it, so that way you're always notified as to when I make an upload. If you have any friends who might be interested in this sort of content, then share the video around with them to help give my loadout videos and my channel more widespread exposure. And if you want to see behind the scenes previews of my loadout videos, you can follow me on Twitter at JordanXBrooks for all the latest on there. So until the next video, I thank you all for watching, stay true to me troops, and I'll see you in game. Nothing personal, it's only business.